What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about how to study pharmacology in medical school, at least how I do it. Pharmacology is one of those classes that, I don't know, you really, it's not like PATH or uh, Micro or even Physio where you can have like a really good strategy. For me, Pharm has been just like learning a new language. It's literally just vocab words. Um, to me, it kind of remember, it reminds me of um, when like you were in fourth grade and you had to remember, you, know, you had to go home and study like 20 words a week or whatever we did. And you had to learn how to spell the word, what the word, the definition of the word, and like use it in a sentence or whatever we did in elementary school. That's what pharmacology is like to me. It's like you're just given a bunch of words, names of drugs, and you have to go home, remember the word, remember how to spell it, remember its mechanism of action, and uh, when you would want to use that medication. So it's just like going back to fourth grade vocabulary or English or whatever we called it back then. So. <clears throat> That's how I think about pharmacology. Um, of course, it's much more integrated than was fourth grade uh, English, but you get the point. It's like learning vocab. And yes, that's my cat right there smelling my farm books. Um, so let's get right to it. What do I use and why? Kitty, it's not. See, my cat likes reading books as well. Um, okay, so number one book I use, for believe it or not, this is the first time I use a recommended uh, like my, my school recommends this book, and I actually use it. And here it's um, what is it? Um, cat song. Okay, I, I, I just call it Cat Song, not Cat Song and Trevor, but it's Cat Song's Pharmacology um, Examination and Board Review. So this pretty decent thickness it has all all the farm you need. This is not the full um, Cat Song Farm. Full Cat Song Farm is thicker. This is the one that's for um, board review, as they call it. But they teach you all, this is like what the school recommends. You can buy the full length one if you want, but it has a lot more minutia. This is this is full of high yield and a lot of things that I think are still too much. Right, Just me though. So this is my main source. Read this. Learn your farm. Um, usually lecture slides come straight out of this anyway, so it's not like you're going to miss much if you don't read too much in the lecture slides or if you don't read too much into this. It's pretty much the same thing. But much easier if you just read this. It's, it makes life easier. Now, What's that book over there, right? This book, I don't know how you're going to get. So this is the uh, USMA Step 1 um, like lecture notes book from Kaplan. Um, I got this book for free. I got, I got a few of them from one of my bigger siblings, and he just handed it down to me. Uh, when he was studying for Step 1, he took a Kaplan Step 1 prep course, and you get all these um, lecture books like this, and you just go to lecture class, or you watch it online, or you watch videos online and you just study. Um, so he just gave me a bunch of his and he just handed them down to me. He barely used them so I got pretty lucky I tell you. Um, so I don't know how you're gonna get these but I'll tell you how you get them. <laughs> just, you know, don't, I didn't tell you this but every year <clears throat> So if you're going into second year, you're going to buy this book, or I would recommend buying it, because look how thick it is, right? What is this? Okay, compare this thick and again. Okay, thickness is very important. Don't, don't, don't take that context out of context, right? Look at this difference, okay? This little one is probably a half to a third the size of Catsun. What does that tell you? This is distilled this down to the core high yields. What's the problem with that? If you just try picking this up and reading it, you're not going to get very far. I mean... Here's like my anti-arrhythmic drugs. I mean, I've highlighted and just kind of... So I, I already knew this from reading Catsun, but when I get back to this, I still have to fill in a lot of detail. <clears throat> Sorry, I think I have like a cold here, right? so I sound a little funny. But what's the point of this? Okay, let, look, at this is the point. It's not that you go buy these things and you, and you get these handed down to you, and you're like, oh, I'm going to ace farm. No, that's not the strategy. What's wrong with you? This is the strategy. Look, if you weren't paying attention, now would be a good time. Um, you get this. You sit, you belabor, and you read through it, and you're like, oh, that was a horrible chapter. I wish I, you know, boring book. I'm sorry, but just get over it. Vocab. If you liked vocab in fourth grade, you're going to love farm. I did not. It was boring to me. But to be frank, you just work through it, and then you feel so happy in all that vocab. So you sit through this chapter, you work through it, you're like, oh, that was boring. I'm done. Thank God. Or you had fun with it. And then you're like, okay, now I'll go back to that same chapter in Kaplan book, and then I'll go through it. Um, and you can get your hands on the videos that come with this. You can buy it for like however much it costs through Kaplan. Or if you ask a big sieve, there's usually other ways to get it. Um, just depends how your school does it. Um, and you can like watch the videos, and it just it just goes through these lecture notes with you. And the good thing is, then you can actually understand 
this content. This is like first aid style. It's really distilled down to all the high yield points. Picking this up and saying, oh, this is all the farm I need to know. Yes, it is all the farm you need to know. But picking this up as your primary resource, you're just going to fall into a trap. You're not going to learn. You, um, it's not designed to learn from. It's designed that you should already know something, and it's designed that you should go along with the video notes. So this is my strategy. Number one, okay, this is like the second time I'm saying it, so I know I'm being redundant, but this is kind of how we do it so you don't forget. Sit through this, just read it, get it over with, learn your pharmacology. Once you've done that, pat yourself on the back, <laughs> and then go through this with the videos, if you have them, most people do, and go through that content again. What's the beauty? You already know it. You just read it. How are you going to forget it? If you forget it, read it again. I don't know what's wrong with you. Pay attention when you're reading. You finished reading, now you go through this again. What you go through with the video, and you're like, ooh, look, all this cool stuff about, um, what is, oh yeah, the autonomics. Oh, look, the eyes changing, how fancy, right? And you've read it now a second time, along with the videos, and then you're like, okay, I probably know the content. Then you go to your lecture notes, see what your school wants you to know. About uh, Probably like 95% of the content will be the exact same, so you're like, oh, that's not bad. And then that's that. So now you've read the material three times. Once in Katsung, two in Kaplan, and three through your lecture notes. Then what's the beauty? Come exam time, come shelf time, what do you do? Do you go back to this? No way, Jose. Why? Because who wants to go? How are you going to go through all this again? I mean, that's just like, you, you. ouch, as far as I'm concerned. Ouch. What do you go through? You go through this. Why do you think on every single page I have a gazillion notes? Because, let me find something actually like, that would be interesting for you guys to see, because... Some of this stuff gets a little bit boring, <laughs> but the cool stuff is to come. Ooh, calcium. Okay, this was fun. The end. Okay, so this is my actual like, calcium channel blockers. Okay, so this is my class for calcium channel blockers. And so what's the point? I could have just left this pretty much blank, but I put in my notes from my book. I put in my notes from my lecture content and the notes from the video when you watch these, and you just fill them in. And that's all you got to do. So when it comes exam time, what do you look at? Number one, your lecture slides, because that's what your exam is going to mainly be from. And then you look at this as well, just so then you're studying material and you're studying what you should know for shelf at the same time. And then come shelf time, you don't look at PowerPoint slides. You throw those away. You just stick with this. So come shelf, you've got a book that you've annotated, that you've read before, you are comfortable with, and all you need to know is there. Is this deceivingly small? Yes. There's a ton of information in here. Do not tell yourself, oh, this is so thin and small, I'll get it done later. No, you're not. I'm sorry. Don't fall into that trap. Um, my big sib warned me. He was a good guy. Thank you. If you're looking, thanks, man. Um, don't fall into that trap, man. So then, did you guys get it? What do you do for class? Stick with your core notes. Stick with your lecture slides. What do you do for shelf? You've already got this. But how is this going to be useful? You watch the videos. You annotate it from the big book, and you annotate it from lecture slides. That easy. That's what I do. I keep it simple. Um, some people buy um, pre-made farm cards. I I bought them. Um, I got them from like a discount on Amazon. I think it was like used or. They're like a year, it was like an edition old or something, but um, I didn't like it. I don't like, um, I don't know, I like to make my own flashcards. I, like I've mentioned in my other videos, I use Quizlet.com, it's free, it's why I have it. And I just make my own flashcards, and that's what I like. Um, it's going to be geared towards what I need to study. Uh, maybe during shelf time, I'll switch to my, back to my farm cards, but right now I don't like that. I like my own specific flashcards for my own specific exams. Uh, that's just my preference. But many of my classmates do use farm cards and they love them. So maybe check. Um, <clears throat> sorry, maybe check them out if you want. Um, so in the description below, I'll, I'll leave a link for that. Uh, I can't leave a link for this because they don't sell it. Um, so try to get a hand me down from a big sib, and I'll, I'll leave a link for the farm cards so you can check out as well. Um, hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, I know I've, I I really didn't plan on making this farm video because. Pharmacology, like I said, it's kind of, it's not, to me, the strategy is simple. Maybe it's too simple. Maybe it's perfect. I don't know. Uh, or maybe it's too much, just like that little Ed Riding Hood in the thing. <laughs> um, but anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any comments below. Let me know if you have questions. Many of you have been sending messages, and that is much appreciated. Um, ask anyone. I get back to you. It may take a month. It may take more, but I will respond to your message. I'll give you a good response. And in, the, in this instance, I made a video because everyone was saying, Give this farm, and here you go. Boom. And yes, that's my cat again down there. Oh, where is he? Where that? Okay. Um, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you could, please share these videos with your friends. Um, 
it's not that I'm trying to push subscribers because this is an academic channel. We're not going to get a ton anyways. But really, it's just we're putting in the effort. We're building a community in which we can help each other. It would just be good if there's fr if you have friends who are like, hey, maybe you might want to check this video out. Share with them if you want. You don't have to, but it's just let's just spread the wealth of um, trying to do good and give information. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, enjoy your studies.